the Royal Media Group chose to fraternize with it and base its report entirely on the testimony of self-confessed criminals. The attempt to tarnish the entire service are contemptuous and undermine the efforts made by the over 100,000 police officers who work day and night to keep the country safe. We therefore protest and condemn in the strongest terms possible the reiterating of our men and the women offering selfish service. We would like to note that none of the guns here in our presence submitted yesterday by Royal Media Services belong to the National Police Service. We are going to demonstrate that so that if we are going to see the evidence, then the public can see between us and the people went out there. Truly, we sing the truth. We can credibly account for each and every firearm held by our officers over the said period when they say to have been given out by the police officers. All National Police Service guns are serialized in a particular manner and our Chief Hamara, who is present here with me, and as an expert, you are going to hear from him. And the ballistic expert who equally give you an insight of the scientific science characteristic of knowing a firearm from where and issued from where. We'll give more details shortly. Indeed, the National Police Service has never stopped a pistol which was presented having been given by the police officers, which is there in your presence, in the history of the National Police Service. We have never stopped charge a firearm. Myself, for over 28 years service, from the time I was put as a recruit constable, I've never seen charge a pistol. I started like a recruit constable, to constable, to now at the DCI. I've never seen such a pistol as an issue of a police anywhere. We also perplex equally the reason why the Royal Mandy Service is so to break the law and hold dangerous women, weapons for more than a year without harassing the police. The penal code prohibits this in section 89 and provides sanctions that can be visited on any person who contravened that section of the law.